Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments, and ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. What a wonderful three days of racing we were privileged to over President's Day weekend, including the return of two-year-old champion Nyquist. The son of Uncle Mo was able to hold off Exaggerator in the final furlong and do so impressively to remain unbeaten and prepare himself for a trip to Florida for the $1 million Florida Derby. We also were able to provide a winner in the Santa Maria when Taras Tango got by Yehilwa late and, and captured the grade two event. Unfortunately, exotic long shot play, Kiriaki, who looked loaded when they turned for home, was unable to finish third and finished fourth instead, so we missed out on a nice trifecta. We're going to head back to Santa Anita Park for their Saturday feature, and this time it's going to be on our favorite place, the turf. The grade two Buena Vista is a great betting race with a full field of fillies and mares. The likely favorite will be Stormy Lucy for Kent DeSormo and Ed Moger Jr., the Buena Vista will also see the return to the lawn for prize exhibit, who disappointed in a try going seven furlongs on the dirt in the last for James Cassidy. Her Eminency will make her four-year-old debut and first start out of the barn of Kristen Mulhall for Ike and Dawn Thrash and Jockey Joe Talamo. While those three are all very respected runners, we like another one as our play of the day. Number one, Kerry Bell comes into this race with several angles we like including an affinity for the Santa Anita turf course and the mile distance. Carrie Bell, the six-year-old, is two for two over the course and has never finished worse than second with three wins and a runner-up finish at the mile distance. In addition to that, Carrie Bell was wide throughout in her first race off the layoff for trainer John Sheriffs in her last when she was still able to overcome that and get to the wire first in the megahertz. In the Buena Vista, Kerry Bell should sit a ground-saving trip throughout off what should be an honest pace from Glory, Chocolatier, Paulina's Love, and perhaps even a prominently placed cowbred Smooth It who comes in off of sprint effort last time out down the hill. Kerry Bell should be able to get first jump on the late runners mentioned, and we were, are hopeful that Alex Solis can get the job done once again. If you take a close look at Carrie Bell, she has not been able to stay healthy much in her career, but when she has run two in a row, the second one off the layoff has been better than the first. So we are really hopeful that Carrie Bell can move forward once again off that effort in the megahertz and get to the wire first. We're going to use Carrie Bell on top and bet her to win, and we're also going to play exactas in this one. We're going to use number three, Smooth It. Number six, Prize Exhibit. Number seven, Lutein Bell. Number eight, Glory. And number nine, Her Eminency underneath. We are aware that some of the others could beat us, and it's a tricky spot, but we, have, we can't use them all. So that's once again number one, Kerry Bell, as our Horse Racing Nation play of the day in the Grade Two Buena Vista. Good luck, racing fans, and let's stay hot. 